Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play I Wanna Be the Barrage. Uh, this is Moogie, and Kevin has assured me that this video is uh, something special, so I'm looking forward to that. Yes, indeed it is. So, in the last episode, we spent about 900 lives and 6 hours of my life going through the first 5 stages of the extra stage. And at this point, I have a total of uh, 1,659 deaths and 11 hours and 40 minutes of playtime. But more importantly, so, we're now at the Tycho Drum, stage 5-6. Just getting straight into it, I see. Yes, I mean, there's uh, not much to waste time on. May as well get started. It's certainly going to take me a while. So, the Tycho Drum is a... I don't really have words for this stage. It is a true disaster of Dan Maku, and it's all heading straight for your face. So, do you like... So with the like with the rest of the bullets, do these kill you if any part of them hits you. Yes, they do. The that's cool. actually one of the big problems with the stage is that the bullets are fucking gigantic. Uh, it took me so, uh, quite a while to actually realize that. What was that? What the fuck is going on? Oh horror! That was a streaming segment. I'll talk a little bit more about it later, but that's uh, one of the worst parts of this attack. Uh, oh, one of. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing's horrible. Uh, one of the overriding issues, aside from the giant hitboxes, is that this attack is incredibly random. So there's no real pattern, rhyme, or reason, or sense, or anything to the uh, random balls that are flying around. So you're just kind of on your own, then? Yeah, I mean, I, I learned eventually how to read each sort of individual wave and finally put that all together to complete the attack, but it took a very long time, and none of it is anywhere close to as easy as it looks. Honestly, it seems like it's hard to even divide it into, like, individual waves. <laughs> well, that, the waves become very distinct when you play it long enough. I see. So let's see if I can talk about each wave a bit more in detail. So it opens up with uh, a wave that's just a bunch of random stuff everywhere. Always good. And the random stuff is perfectly capable of killing you because it travels very fast at times and the kid moves very slow compared to how big and fast these bullets are moving. But the real problem are the, uh, the set waves that the drum sends out in a circle, in a semicircle rather. Right. And these are incredibly dense and move incredibly fast. The one saving grace of them is that they're timed to the music. So they happen at the same time every go. And that they're also static in terms of where the bullets are placed. So there are static safe spots on the ground. And I learned where those are. Yeah, actually, I think uh, one part of this game that gives me difficulty is how slow the kid really is. Like, you might not notice it watching these videos, but the kid does not move quickly at all. You have to practically be clairvoyant in order to move the kid to where he needs to be in time. Anyway, this second wave looks simpler uh but there's actually a few tricky issues for one thing the bullet walls here travel very fast and you don't really have any way to read them until they've spread out a bit which means you have to react incredibly quickly to what's going on and then it seems to stream after you at uh, the end and here's the killer streaming part so this probably looks very simple when you see me do it successfully I just have to turn around at one point. But in reality, I have about two frames where I can turn around. And if I'm outside those frames, I will die. And then this this is an easier streaming part, but it can still kill me because the hitboxes are so big and the gaps between the bullets are so small. So uh, there you have it. This box requires frame precision. So if you've made it through that mess, you've made it to the second half of the attack, which is great because I didn't survive this long very often at all. And the second half of the attack opens up with a revamp of the first part of the attack with all the randomness. Except, except you can see that there is a continual wave, a spiral wave, coming out of the drum that has those tiny gaps in it. And the tiny gaps conspire with the random bullets to block off your escape routes and just to fuck you over in general. But the worst part of this is the transition to the next wave, when suddenly you're beset by a whole ton of these semicircle waves, and it's just complete bullshit. 
Oh, and we're, we're finally out of montage time, it seems. Uh, yeah, it looks like we are. We only made it like 75% of the way through the attack and the montage, but that's oh, because yeah. the last parts aren't as bad as everything before. But to uh, add some numbers to this, because I'm sure everyone wants to know just how much of my life I wasted on this meaningless little thing. I know I do. Yes, uh, by the time I completed this stage, I had racked up 3,280 deaths and was at 21 hours on the play clock. And what were you at before this? Uh, about 16,000, I'm sorry, uh, 1,660 deaths and 11 hours and 40 minutes. So I died about 1,600 times on this stack alone and spent 10 hours on it. So yeah, I, I was looking at the readme file for this game and apparently the whole extra stage was basically made to be impossible. There's a guy who beat the final boss in the author's previous game, which he didn't intend for anybody to be able to do, so he made this as kind of a challenge to that guy. So in other words, this is supposed to be harder than impossible. And my response to that is, fuck him, I beat it anyway. But yeah, like, in the readme file, the guy begs you, like, multiple times not to beat the game. Which shouldn't be a problem for most players. <laughs> really, yeah. So, we're about to enter the last part of the attack here, so I guess I'll talk about it a little bit. First off, it opens with a streaming dick kill. There's a few of those throughout this card, but they're easy to avoid if you know they're coming. So this is randomness complete with constant dense waves. But there's one, uh, one little gift to you here, and that's that the fast semicircle waves that the boss usually sends out aren't here. So this is actually one of the easier parts of the attack. Oh, and you'd better be prepared for that streaming wave at the end, or it will kill you. Oh, and now we've got a lovely wall of bullets, literally. Yes, uh, you have to know where the gap is here, or you'll die, I presume. I've never actually died here. That says die, by the way. Yeah. And just, just in it. case you're, like, busy vomiting from the stress of having completed that stage after dying thousands of times, there's a helpful platform to carry you into the teleporter before you get the chance to save. I love the uh, semi-English message there, just... D don't don't attempt this. Yeah, and of course it's also death down the hole. I wonder how much worse this can get. 